Hi there, this is Fixed It. If you've been plagued by the iTunes insufficient privileges recently, here's the solution. I click on iTunes, expecting to use it. iTunes pops up and a message comes up says I don't have enough privileges for this operation. It then comes up with another message, could not complete your iTunes request. The store, you don't have enough access privileges. Okay, so I click on that and you don't have enough privileges and then we get the unknown error occurred minus four five zero five four uh, I click OK on that and it quits my iTunes and I can't get in there um, a user of my uh, software discovered this uh, when they were trying to uh, link their iPad to iTunes recently here's the solution so what's caused the problem? If I open my hard disk and go to users you'll know that my user and some additional users but there should actually be a shared folder in the users folder and this folder is used by uh, different applications uh, to share files and the fact that that's missing um, means that uh, you don't have access privileges but it isn't just a simple matter of creating a new folder in there because this is within the main system of the uh, um, Mac OS X so I'll show you how to create it and then to share it properly to create this folder properly I go to applications utilities and scroll down to the bottom and I open terminal with the terminal window open I go and I make a directory using the uh, sudo mkdir command in unix so I type in sudo mkdir minus p slash users slash shared slash and when I execute this you'll notice that a shared folder will pop up here oh, it's asking me for my uh, password okay so there's my shared folder now you may think that that was sufficient in that you know you'll now have a shared folder in there but unfortunately that, show, that shared folder won't have the appropriate privileges so now we need another command so to change the permissions on the shared folder I've created I type in sudo chmod 1777 slash users slash shared and I hit return and that's it okay so what I'll do now is I'll uh, close down the terminal and uh, fire up iTunes you can see that it comes up absolutely perfectly without any of the error messages that we had before so I hope you found this useful it certainly was from a user and in fact I've ended up having to do it myself as well and um, if you like the video please rate it and give it a thumbs up uh, this has been fixed it with what's hopefully another great Mac support video thanks for watching bye